Hello guys, welcome back to Concrete Elbow. Levan just put out a practice session footage in which many top level Georgians participated. There was Levan himself, Bacho, Irakli, Bacho's brother Otto, David Arabuli, and Vala. But we're just gonna talk about Levan, Bacho, and Irakli in this video because those three are obviously the main topic here. But first, keep in mind that Levan is currently on an off season. His next match is still six months away, while Irakli is on a very good shape because he's gonna be facing Prudnik in three weeks. I'm not sure about Bacho though, but I did see him train and practice a lot at his club lately. And I'm just gonna say that Levan did look pretty weak here. But it doesn't matter because if you remember about six months before the first Devon match, Irakli was pinning him rather easily when Levan was also on an off season. But once it's time to face Devon, still pure domination. So instead, I'm just gonna talk about the possible weaknesses that I saw from Levan from this video. And surprisingly, it's a bit different between his right and left arm. On the right arm, even with this kind of form, Levan was still able to protect his hand. That includes his pronation and wrist. But if you noticed, his arm opened up so much more compared to how it usually is when he's in an actual match. And this clip that you're seeing right now was the first pull that Levan did, so he was absolutely fresh here. And next, Levan vs Irakli right hand. Now once again, Irakli's current form is really good. Not only he was able to open Levan's arm easily, but seems like Irakli wasn't losing his hand either. I would say that Irakli's hand in this form is pretty equal with Levan's hand on an off-season form. But on the left arm, actually Bacho was able to take Levan's wrist pretty easily. Doesn't matter who is going offensive. And as far as I know, Bacho's not even a top role specialist. It's also the same story when it was Irakli's turn. And in conclusion, when Levan is on his peak shape, for now, I don't think anyone's gonna be able to dominate his hand like Devin did in round 1. No one's gonna be able to top roll him, and I don't think anyone's gonna be able to hook him either. In my opinion, the only way to beat him is through a flaw press. I know Levan is really really strong all around, better than anyone everywhere, but if we make it as a comparison, seems like his arm is his weakness. If someone like Camille or Jerry can fully commit their shoulders from the start, I think it's possible. But still highly unlikely though, honestly. I'm actually leaning towards Animus now, knowing that his hand has gotten so much better and he might be able to stop Levan even closer to the center now, so it's gonna be easier for him to get offensive with this flop. Now on the left arm, obviously the weakness is the wrist. In 2017, Vitaly lost, but since then Levan hasn't competed with his left arm anymore and he hasn't been training it specifically either, while Vitaly has been top rolling literally everyone. I know Levan's gonna come back with his left next year and he's gonna get it as ready as it can be but honestly if they were to face each other next year I think Vitaly would be able to win this time. 